We're going to begin with Action News reporter Glenda Lewis live at Michigan and Trumbull, where Tiger Stadium used to stand and where Sparky stood really tall. Glenda? Steve and Carolyn, this small memorial woven into the gates here at the old Tiger Stadium speaks volumes about how the people of Corktown are feeling tonight about this great loss. I went to the ALCS against, against Kansas City, and I went to the World Series against San Diego. Scott Subcheck went to every Tigers playoff game during his college years. He got a free pass, and his run-ins with Sparky, priceless. My buddy Ron worked a gate, so I got in every game for free. So There's one thing that I've always remembered in my life, as Sparky always said, it's better to be lucky than good, and I've never forgot that. Nemo's was buzzing with Sparky memories that travel across the border. He even came to Windsor and did a couple appearances in, in Windsor, and I attended some of those where he was a guest speaker and um, he was as warm and as welcoming in person as he seemed to be on camera. We came here tonight was to have a drink, to drive by the vacant lot where Tiger Stadium used to be and toast to Sparky. Tiger Stadium Historical Society member Pete Riley worked at the park from 87 to 97. I'm happy that he's back with his pals, Ernie Harwell and uh, Mr. Campbell, James Campbell, who brought him here. And I think probably in a roundabout way, I guess we could say even, even heaven needs a good manager. And Pete went on to say, when Sparky spoke to you, he made you feel like you were the only person in the room. There's an American flag out there on the field that the Tiger Historical Society has put up. They say they plan on lowering it to half staff in honor of Sparky. Live in Corktown, I'm Glenda Lewis.